actually spoke to 50, I want to say two, three weeks ago. And I brought you up because you might not remember this, but I, I was telling Yvette, Mama Yvette, I used to be my boss. I told Yvette, I was like, yo, I saw a clip where Ross was singing 50, the, the, the verse, the hate and the love it. And I told Fifth, I was like, yo, Ross said you had a classic verse. So I need you in return. If you got a classic Ross track or verse, what would you pick? He said, yo, I'm not going to lie. He's a talented motherfucker. BMF is a classic. I need to put that on the BMF show. Are you going to allow the BMF? That record to be on the BMF show because I'll be big. Um, it's something that me and uh, you know, that's most definitely a discussion I'm gonna have, but obviously, you know, he reaching out and 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 um, I'm a profit off, and that's mm. what it's about with me. I told him that he could go to mm-hmm. Wingstop and take a picture with a 10 piece lemon pepper. Oh, the pepper. And why you at it? And why you at it? Tell him to take a picture with the, the black bottle and hold it up. And if he do that and post that, I'm going to really consider clearing the BMF record for him, for his show. Uh, shout out to to Southwest T. Me and him already did business since he's been home. Shout out to him. So I would love to see the brother shine. It's not about uh, Curtis Jackson at all. But tell him to take the picture with the Bel Air bottle Hold it up and hold it up high. And when I see it, tell him for the first time I'm going to come to his page and I'm going to actually like the pick. Wow, that's for sure right there. I love that, man. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that. I'll make sure we spread the word. What's good, everybody? It's Jay Coffee on the vid. Back with some more hip-hop news. Another hip-hop blog for you guys. So you hear Rick Ross there talking about 50 Cent. I'm doing some possible business with 50 during a recent interview and let's talk about this let's break this down now is rick ross trolling is he clowning around here is he being funny does he got jokes or is he serious regarding you know uh 50 you know clearing the bmf sample for 50 cent because let's be honest man these dudes been going at it forever like 12 years this beef's been ongoing and if Rose is indeed serious, you know what I mean? Uh, this could be a step in the right direction for actually, you know, them doing business together and open the door for like the beef to be squashed. You know what I mean? Like we've seen 50 Cent squash it with Fat Joe. We've seen him in the game, you know, are, are on good terms now. But um, the, the Rick Ross beef has just been going on forever. Like I said, like 12 years. And the beef pretty much started like over nothing. It's 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 crazy when you really think about it and get down to the bottom of it. But, you know, I'm really wondering what does everyone think? Is he clowning around? Is he serious? Could this beef be squashed or is like 50 Cent and Rick Ross beef in the Ja Rule type category where we know that's never going to happen? You know what I mean? Like, they're never going to be cool. Fifth and Ja going to be going at each other. You guys have heard this before. When they're both in wheelchairs, these dudes going to be dissing each other, going at each other. And that's just what it is, you know? Like I said, Fifth squashed it with a lot of people that we thought it would never happen. But it did. So tap in, in them comments and let me know what you guys think. You know, is is this moving in the right direction or is this just going to be like Ja Rule where it's never going to end? And quick side note, that BMF series, like Fifth has been uh, promoting this thing forever. Like, are we really going to get this? Is this really in the works? It just seems like, you know, everyone's been anxious to see what kind of project 50 Cent puts together. And, you know, we just keep having to wait. There's been... You know, uh, discrepancies over does he have the rights to do that? You know, I don't know. You guys get in the comments and let me know your thoughts on this. But getting back to 50 Cent and Rick Ross uh, beef. Like I said, this beef really, when you go back and go over everything, it kind of started over nowhere. Essentially, Rick Ross or 50, one of them, I can't even remember, didn't like the way, I I believe it was Rose, he didn't like the way 50 looked at him at at the BET Awards or something like that, and dropped a diss record, and you know, that was it, that kicked it off, and it's been going on forever, and we all know 50 Cent is petty as hell, like, it gets, it gets crazy 
uh, with the beefs and everything like that. But the Rick Ross beef took it to another level. The antics that 50, both of them went to, but 50 especially. You know, I mean, with Ja Rule, we seen him go in and be petty and all that. But in my opinion, nothing compared to uh, the Rick Ross beef. We saw 50 uh, work with both of Rick Ross's baby moms. We seen him expose the Officer Ricky situation. And a uh, side note, the Officer Ricky situation is kind of wild. You know, like Rick Ross, the character that he's playing, you know, the big boss, Ricky Ross, you know, using the persona of the real life Rick Ross, the Officer Ricky thing would be just so damaging to that. But Rick Ross kept rolling with the punches. He played it cool. He was like, yeah, that's me or whatever. Do I do you see a CO when you look at me? You know, he's like when you know being who i am i don't want to say too much because i can't indict myself but just you know think basically like why would i have that job how would that play into what i do you know what i mean i'm most hinting that he was serving the whole florida prison system you know what i mean and that's what a lot of other dudes need to do when they get into these beefs and embarrassing things come back and get pulled up on them someone goes and digs up the dirt they want to do too much explaining and or, or just try to flat out say it's fake Rose played play that one off smooth. You know what I mean? Like, get in the comments. Let me know if you guys agree. But getting back to what we're talking about is Rick Ross clowning around. I mean, it's it's a tough one to call, but I think he was genuine about this. You know, I mean, he says he wants them to go into the wing stop. What do you say? Take a picture with a ten piece lemon pepper and a bottle of Bel Air. He'll like the post, and you know, he'll seriously consider opening discussions uh you know to 50 to clearing the bmf track for 50 cent now even if he was dead serious that's a lot to do like would 50 cent humble himself and do this to be able to like probably not right like i don't know you know what i mean but even though like i said this is somewhat hypothetical what we're talking about here just rick ross saying that alone is a huge deal you know, like, because if you look at these guys beef, like I said, it's been going on for over a decade. There's like five lawsuits in there where these guys sue each other for everything. Like I said, fifth work with two of Rick Ross's baby's mom took one on a shopping spree. You know, she essentially said Rose was a deadbeat dad. Then he le leaked an adult video of the other baby's mom. You know, lawsuits came of that. Then 50 Cent put the lawsuit back like flipped it around back on rose and said it was a big you know setup and rose really indeed was the one who originally released the tape which i highly doubt that you know we heard 50 cent giving voiceover to the to the tape that wasn't a good look as far as you know covering yourself legally he definitely opened himself to a lawsuit when it came to that then we seen uh one of rick ross's like groundskeeper at one of his properties say he got uh that he was uh kidnapped and and abducted and everything like that and he said uh you know then 50 cent is taking pictures with dude and rick ross sued 50 claiming that uh you know 50 was behind it it was all a big plan that they hatched to get rose in trouble um you know then we seen 50 lose the lawsuits against uh regarding the baby's mom um uh, both these dudes launched websites dissing each other then fifth played uh, a somewhat a smart move in my opinion declared bankruptcy to try to avoid paying that lawsuit something similar to what we've seen the game do you know uh with his with his lawsuit that he's going through over the reality show and you know these dudes have been in court suit like over uh civil suits over the past year over uh rick ross on a mixtape using the in the club beat 50 cents suing him over that and get in the comments guys what do you think about that all the hip-hop fans out there is that kind of violating an unwritten law in hip-hop that when it comes to mixtapes everyone uses everyone's beef for for freestyles and in different tracks and stuff like that uh 50 cent and g unit on them early days before get rich or die trying and even after it like with the some of the g unit radio series that's how G-Unit came up, man, using everyone's beats on the mixtape and making some dope, catchy songs to it. Remember the, the East Siders joint? I stay gangstered up, ain't got shit on me. I stay with my gad in case I gotta pop somebody. Like, 
they did they killed it with those using everyone's beat and then 50 sued rose over using the in the club beat so i mean what do you guys think about that was that kind of violation as far as hip-hop goes but that just goes sh how like to show how personal and petty this beef got that for rose to even put this out there this uh you know scenario of how fifth could possibly he could clear the bmf for 50 cent that's like saying something you know like when you really get down to this and look at everything that's transpired for that to even be thrown out there that's like a move in the right direction so get in the comments let me know your guys thoughts on everything i touched on the whole beef the issue is ross clowning here is he serious like what's your thoughts on it all you know what I mean? Get up in them comments. If you're new over here on the J Coffee Talk platform, like I always got to put it out there. It's all about hearing what the people got to say. We drop daily videos, music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. So hit the uh, sub, hit the bell. It doesn't cost you a thing, guys. Stay tapped in with me. I'll catch you on the next video. Look forward to hearing what you guys got to say in them comments. I'm out of here. Peace.